Hey everybody, it's me, Stuart. Today we're going to read a story from PJ Mass called Good Night Heroes. Let's see what these heroes get into today. Here we go. Today, Connor, Amaya, and Greg were going on a field trip to the museum. I can't wait to see the Egyptian chariot, said Greg. The teacher says it's 3,500 years old. And it's made of real gold, added Connor. But when they got to the museum, their teacher had bad news. The golden chariot had vanished. It had to be the work of a nighttime villain. We'll find it, said Amaya. PJ Masks, we're on our way, into the night to save the day. Amaya becomes Owlet, Greg becomes Gecko, Connor becomes Catboy. The PJ Masks jumped into the Owl Glider and took off, scanning the city streets. It didn't take them long to find the chariot and Night Ninja. His Ninja Linos were pulling the chariot with a minute. Give that chariot back, said Catboy, or we'll have to take it. You don't scare me, PJ Pess. Take me for a ride, Ninja Linos, and make it fast, Night Ninja ordered. But the Ninja Linos were tired of being bossed around. They stopped pulling the chariot. What's the meaning of this? Night Ninja asked. Maybe they don't like how you lead them, suggested Gecko. I'd be a much better leader than that, said Owlet. We'd play and have lots of fun. The Ninja Linos ran over to Owlet. I'll call them my Owletinis, she said. Okay, Owletinis, to the museum, cried Owlet. The Owletinis picked up the chariot and pulled Owlet all the way back to the museum. Being a leader is fun, said Owlet. Night Ninja will be back any moment, said Catboy, when they returned to the museum. We should hide the chariot somewhere safe. But Owlet was having too much fun ordering around her Owletinis. Owletinis, salute your leader, she said. Owlet wasn't happy with the way they did it. Owletinis, I'm your leader, she scolded them. You need to salute me properly. One, two, three, go! And so the Owletinis did just that. They went away from Owlet. While Owlet, Catboy, and Gecko searched the museum for the Alvatinis, Night Ninja snuck in. The Alvatinis ran up to him. They decided to be Ninjalinos again. They used their sticky splats to connect the chariot to a rocket ship. Now they wouldn't have to pull it. As they blasted off, Night Ninja called out to Owlet. So much for being a wonderful leader. Owlet knew Night Ninja was right. My Owletinis are gone, and it's all my fault, she said. Maybe they can still help us. It's time to be a hero. The PJ Masks follow Night Ninja in the Owl Glider. I'm sorry, Ninjalinos, Owlet called to them. I'm not your leader, I'm just someone who needs your help. All of a sudden, the chariot started to break away from the rocket. The sticky splats were losing their stickiness. We're too heavy, Ninjalinos, said Night Ninja. All of you jump out, now. But the Ninjalinos were scared. We have to save them, cried Owlet. She flew the Owl Glider below the chariot. The Ninjalinos landed safely. As for Night Ninja, there was nothing he could do. The rocket sputtered down to the ground, taking him and the chariot along with it. When the Owl Glider landed, the Ninjalinos gave Owlet a hug. Night Ninja knew he had been wrong. I'm sorry, he said to the Ninjalinos. He threw out his arms and the Ninjalinos ran over to him. Oh, I love you too, my Ninjalinos, said Night Ninja. The PJ Masks laughed. You're really just a big softy, Owlet told him. Now let's get this chariot back to the museum, said Catboy. The PJ Masks were getting tired, but their busy night wasn't over yet. Luna Girl was up to no good on the other side of town. She had taken the school's puppets and her moths were putting on a puppet show just for her. Gecko went to get the puppets back from Luna Girl, but he got caught up in her show. Woohoo, he cheered at an exciting scene. That's when Luna Girl noticed him. Uh, give those puppets back, Gecko said, trying to sound serious. No chance, said Luna Girl. Moss, show him what you can do. While Gecko was running away from Luna Girl's moss, Owlet and Capoy were taking care of something else. The PJ Masks classmate Cameron was sleepwalking around town. We need to get him back to bed, said Catboy. Yeah, but we can't use Super Seed or fly him home. That would take him up and give him a bad shock, Owlet pointed out. Owlet and Catboy needed Gecko's help. 
but he had gotten away from the moss and was more interested in the puppets than in stopping Luna Girl. Meanwhile, Luna Girl found Cameron. Using her Luna Magnet, she turned him into a real-life puppet. Look at him, Luna Girl said. He looks like a snoring dinosaur. I'm going to call him Snorosaurus. Owlet was upset with Gecko. Camera wouldn't be in trouble if you hadn't been messing around with those puppets, she told him. Are you with us? Gecko was determined to be a hero. Together, the PJ Masks would get Luna Girl's Luna Magnet and put Cameron back to bed without waking him up. Owlwing, Owlwing Wind, cried Owlet as she flapped her wings at Luna Girl. Luna Girl's moth swirled around her head. She lost control of the Luna's magnet beam. While she was distracted, Catboy grabbed the magnet from her and threw it to Gecko. No, 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 cried Luna Girl, but there was nothing she could do. Gecko pointed the beam at Cameron and started leading him away carefully. Okay, let's get you to bed, said Gecko. The night was finally quiet. Cameron was sleeping soundly in his bed, and the nighttime villains had gone home. After such a busy night, the PJ Masks sure were tired. Owlet yawned, Catboy yawned, Gecko yawned. PJ Masks all shout hooray, cause in the night, we saved the day. Good night, heroes. Yeah. The end. Wow, that was another exciting story about the PJ Masks. They, they did all kinds of rescuing tonight. Good job, PJ Masks. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. See ya.